welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. He's been a proven player, not only uh, in the league, but in this division. He's a tremendous athlete. In that third category, we fence, as we call it, to have Pat punt the way that he punted. Shoot, I think all of his punts are going to be inside the 20-yard line. Your start couldn't be any better as a Green Bay Packer. Nine inside the 20. Are you happy with the way things have got underway? Yeah, those are good numbers so far, yeah. Still warm out, you know, the weather's going to change. And, uh, you know, you don't punt a lot here, so Aaron's letting me you know, get warmed up a little bit. He's probably going to shut me down mid-season, but um, I'm just happy with the way we call we fence. You know, the special teams play is getting better each and every week, and I think that's our goal uh, in the special teams room. Last week, Rich Passaccia, the special teams coordinator, said you were calling your own pitchers. Could you explain that to us? Yeah, so he likes to refer to it as more like a, a caddy. You know, I have different kicks that I can do, the long spiral punts or the end over end punts or uh, show one way, go another way. Um, he just likes to keep, uh, you know, improving the tool bag. You know, he normally likes me to just call my pitches and me and Dallin, the PP, we communicate and I think he trusts me out there. Now, Pat, you ran a 4.64 coming out. At the combine, you're 6'4", 220 or thereabouts. Obviously, you had some athletic options. How did you gravitate toward punting? Yeah, I didn't get into punting until high school. It was one of those deals where I played soccer throughout my whole life. And my best friend at the time, he, he was like, hey, why don't you come out for the team? I was like, I've never played football in my life. And it was a classic movie scene where they asked, has anyone kicked the football before? And it lined us up on the fence. And I kicked the ball the furthest, and the rest has been history. For a bear, Pat O'Donnell gets it away. That is a rocket shot. Wow. All the way back, and a Man. touchback, 72 yards. Fire it up to kick against his old team. I trust you have moved out of Mason Crosby's basement. I have, yes. 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 Well, that, that's a nice <laughs> thing. I think there's a natural fraternity among specialists because only you guys know what it's like to be that guy that gets one chance and he's got to be good every time. Has that grown since you've been here? I mean, anytime you live with someone, I think it you know, jumps your relationship at least 10 years, right? I mean, I was there over a month. I'm honestly really lucky to have Mason because there's going to be situations in, you know, in the game where I'm like, hey, what would you do? And we bounce ideas off of each other. No matter how old you are in this league, you're always learning and trying to evolve your game. And having a guy like Mason has just been awesome for me. Pat, big picture. The special teams, they are trying to do an extreme makeover with that part of the game around here. How do you feel about the direction special teams are headed right now? I feel good about it. I think we just need to keep making steps, small little steps each and every week. You know, not everything is going to go right every single game, but I think if you just continue to build off that, and I'm just fortunate enough to try to help the special teams improve here. That was the reason why I came here, Rich. He wanted to change the culture on the special teams, and I think he's getting all the pieces that he can to help the special teams uh, help this team win. So it's been so, so awesome to just be a part of this team and to embrace now all three phases, you know, as collectively as we can to make this run.